Hello, good people. This is Sherry, owner and designer for Sharika Originals Handcrafted Gifts. I tore this page off of a calendar and I decided that I wanted to use it to make a pair of paper earrings. And then I decided that I wanted to make a big three inch bead and then uh, make the earrings. I wanted to make a large focal bead that was three inches and, and pretty thick. So because I wanted my bead to be thick, in addition to cutting uh, the paper from, from my uh, calendar, I also cut some copy paper sheets. I cut about three, three or four sheets of copy paper that I also was going to wrap so that, I, so that my bead could be pretty thick. In addition to, to being three inches wide at the at the largest part, um, the paper was 12 inches long. I hadn't made paper beads in a long time, so I had to really dig and scrounge around to find um, my paper bead rollers and all of that kind of stuff. This is white glue that I'm using. The paper bead roller that I have was exactly three inches. Um, and so I was gonna need something else to, to hold all of my papers together since I had about four sheets that I needed to hold together. So I ended up having to use um, two bead rollers to get this even started because it was so thick. I tried curling the paper up a little bit to try to get it set to, to roll. So I'm going to end up using my paper roller as well as a cotter pin that I used as a paper roller. I don't even know what a cotter pin is used for, but I got it from, from Home Depot because it looked like something I could use to roll paper with, and it really works. So. Um, that's the second little piece of uh, metal that you see me uh, putting on the paper. Well, I actually put the cotter pin on first to hold the paper, and then I put my paper roller on there. Getting started to rolling is uh, somewhat awkward, but once you get uh, that first roll in, then it gets much easier. As I roll, I really try to roll it tightly. At different spots I'll put some glue on the paper and because I have these other three layers in there I really need to put some glue in inside the other layers too As I was rolling, I could see that, that my white paper was showing, so I decided to cut some of it <laughs> so, so that it wouldn't stick out. As you can see, I was really struggling with this.
since I couldn't keep the white paper from showing, I decided to, to color it orange so that it would blend in. I'm still struggling. My cotter pin was still rolled up in there, so I had to pull that out. After my resin was cured, I decided that, that I wanted to use some, put some um, UT on it. They call it, the brand name is U, UT by Ranger, I think, but it's really ultra, ultra thick embossing powder. And um, you have to use uh, this embossing gel um, with it. So I'm going to roll my bead in the embossing uh gel or whatever it is and then that makes the embossing powder stick to it and then you have to heat it up so that's so check this out Since it's smoking, I have to back off of the heat and let it cool for a while and then go back to it. I wanted to, my glaze to be thicker, so I put some more UT powder on it and I'm going to um, heat it up again.
I'm going to make my focal bead by wrapping uh, this bead with the 12 gauge aluminum wire. This is going to be for my pendant. Again, I don't have a plan, I just start wrapping. If I don't like it, I'll just take it apart and start over. As you can see in this video, I was on the struggle bus, but I got it done and I'm pretty happy with it. So um, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, tomorrow's Tuesday. We do our Tuesday live. So I'm going to be looking for you. This is Sherry saying, as always, be blessed.